triple C. I'm gonna make them bend the knee. Rolling with the triple C. Don't really got the heat. What's up, everybody? Welcome to this episode of Fight Feedback. I am your host, Henry Sudo, aka Triple C. And on today's episode of Fight Feedback, I want to dissect the one and only Rock Manav. That's right. We just saw him fight UFC 285, but this wouldn't be possible without our sponsor. That's right. Lifted Trucks. And there's only one brand that's fitted for the king. LiftedTrucks.com. Everyone else can bend the knee. Find your ride now at LiftedTrucks.com. Rock Manav, I just saw him fight live in person. There's a lot of things that he does right. Is he the second coming of Chemayev? Does he have those skills? Or how does he match up with a guy like Chemayev or a guy like Kobe Cumpton? So on this episode of Fight Feedback, I'm going to be breaking that down. Enough talk. Let's take it to the big screen. So I'm going to go ahead and go in reverse or order here since we just saw him fight against Jeff Neal. Again, look at the age, 28. Pretty, He's pretty tall, man, considering he's a welterweight. Super, super tall. But this is right here. To his reach advantage on hands of still nil. Yeah, there's there's one thing about Rachmanov is right off the back, boom, he goes heavy, man. This is round one. This is literally we're literally 20 seconds in, and the dude's already sh throwing a high kick and he lands. He's lucky that foot and that this shot actually wobbled that nil. I was there live to see it. Boom, Set, setting up that jab. Look, getting him to go backwards. Beautiful knee. Off the open. Off the open or in close range, like this guy's just throwing things up the middle. You know, when somebody's able to take advantage of positions like that, that, that lets you know a little bit of something. Yup. Oh, nice. Notice what he did there. Notice what he did there, but he didn't get it, but I got the idea of what he wanted to do. He wanted to, obviously, he wanted to come up here. The problem is, is he should have probably moved him this way first. You see what I'm saying? He's there in that position, but he already kind of, he already caught his balance. But what you do is you pull him this way. You pull him, you pull him this way to eventually take him to the opposite side. Off the clinch, he closes, he closes the distance really good. This dude's just a, I mean, what can I say about, look, slipped the punch. Came with an upper, kind of dirty style boxing. Like he just doesn't care. As soon as he's in this range, this dude's just throwing whether he's throwing knees, punches, elbows, whatever that may be. Like he knows when to pull the trigger. I mean, you're talking about somebody, and typically I don't like to give people um I don't like to give people a lot of uh praise when it comes to they have a chin, but man, this dude has a damn chin. It's ridiculous, dude. Maybe not the smartest thing, but if you have it and you're willing to take it, then I get it. Yep. Notice that level change. You can go back for a second. We start that combination. But notice that level change. Notice, notice how he shimmied and he looked down. You see what I'm saying? He kind of messing with that lead hand to eventually go up. And that's the beauty thing about him. You see what I'm saying? Boom. Did you guys all saw like a little level change kind of coming? It was super small, but then he ended up coming high and he eventually did get it. Let's get it one more time. Oof, boom. Caught him there. Yep, shimmy the body, went to the body. Boom, this time he's going to the head. He caught him once already. He caught him. Whack. This is where you have to be careful, man, because this is where people kind of tend to slide in. But again, a super suspect stays in, stays in the line of fire. I think if there's one thing that he could do better, is he needs to try to get his head offline as he throws punches. This is his worst. This is, uh, your defense should always be number one, but he seems to be an exception. And again, Rachmanov, the fighter in here, like the fighter in him, like this is where he has success. The more that Rachmanov can keep you in this distance here, in the punch range where you could punch him, he could punch you, he's comfortable here. Boom, elbow, elbow, elbow. You see what I'm saying? Like he's not letting it about the hook. But okay, now he got his head offline on that one. This is the one that actually stunned him. Notice the difference this time. 
Notice how his head goes offline as he throws. Look at how he stepped to the outside and he threw that right hand. One more time. I want you to see, I want you to see his foot and I want you to see when he throws it. Foot went out, boom! Caught him with that right hand. This dude's hurt now. If, he, if Rachmanov can do more of that rather than staying down the middle, that's gonna make him an extremely, extremely dangerous fighter. But this is the pocket he chooses. He chooses to brawl. He chooses to go toe to toe. And you can't deny his finish rate. Bah. Body, I mean, he's just making it ugly. Once he has you here, this is where he feels comfortable. He's just going. Elbow. Elbow. Just doesn't discriminate. Like he's he's hitting you with the hard lens, especially if you're letting him. Look at Neil. Neil's cut, man. Look at that. Those are that's a big gash. Yep. Off angle, everything. Like this, this is what this man needs more. He needs to set that. He needs to set his face. He needs to set his his head offline a little bit more. And the diversity of him throwing knees. Look at that. When somebody does that with their hands. I mean, Rock, Rockmanov does not discriminate in the whole body to eventually get the choke and get the finish. Like this right here, guys, this is called marketing. You may not remember his name. This is kind of where Khabib came out with the thing. This is marketing. I love it. Let's hit the play button. And here we have it. He's going up against uh, Carlston Harris, you know, a little older. 6'1", obviously 170, 77 inch reach advantage. Let's hit the play button. Yep, right away, fake the hand, came with the kick. I want you guys to see that. Look at that, all about the disguise. You know, this is literally 20 seconds in. This dude starts high. I already got, I already got a spinning back kick. Hurts him, hurts him off the back. I mean, this guy, I mean, there's, there's something that Rockmanov does very well. It's been a gift for him so far as he goes big right away. He don't mess around. Ooh, this time around he was thinking body, body. Now he caught him in the head. And look at the power that this dude has. Watch this dude's legs go, just go completely go limp. But again, this guy was thinking body. He was thinking body from the first kicks that he threw them. Bah! Came up high. Came up high because he had already invested in the body. And that's what you call tactical technical and tactical uh, IQ it's making a sequence of things boom yeah oof that second one look, look look at his legs just go out straight Jesus the beautiful technique bah yeah that's hard man and he tried to block it he almost kind of saw but when somebody just has it good he got the right distance off that kick when he was able to get. What is this? What do you guys think this is? is it, what is it, squirrel? What is it, guys? Probably a fox, right? That's uh, anybody on the YouTube, uh, please tell me what this is, man, because I want one. Yeah, huge welterweight. I mean, he's, he, uh, uh, Neil Magny is literally an inch, just a one inch shorter than the heavyweight champion of the world, John Jones. I mean, you're talking about somebody that's huge. 34, a little older. Uh, he has a crazier, he has a longer reach than, uh, than Rachmanov. Let's hit the play button. Yep, catching kicks. And it's almost like Manny went to the body, he went, he went real, real quick. Boom, which typically people go, typically is Rachmanov that's doing some of this stuff. Yeah, boom, ground and pounds. He, he, Rock McNabb is not afraid to go to, he's not afraid to go down with somebody. He's not afraid to be on his back. I mean, uh, Neil Magny's no joke, man, when it comes to the jiu-jitsu game. He's a pretty, uh, he's, a, he's a technician, man. Look, already crossing bar. Look, notice how he did that too with the legs. Look, like he's comfortable. Like who lets people do that? You know, as I watch a lot of this fight feedback, I'm able to pull a lot of material from a lot of different people. Yeah, Neil, I don't know why you did that. That's a stupid mistake on Neil. Why would you do that? Why would you put yourself on one leg? Especially when your head's on this side. 
Like you're just completely out of position. You're it's like you're telling them take me down. You took yourself down on that position. You 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 literally helped them. And then notice this beautiful, you know, this dude's comfortable. This dude's got an underhook on him. This dude's like, you know what I'm saying? Like he's, uh, I don't know what he was looking for there, but it seems like he was maybe trying to throw an elbow. Yeah. But then watch, boom, sinks it in to eventually get the submission. You see what I'm saying? He was almost like this, making him think that he's going to throw this elbow and then watch as he lifts his head up. He lets him come up because he's thinking, boom, he's thinking this. And he's probably really wanted to do it. But as he came up, he helped Rachmanov. Bah, right there. Whoops, I'm sorry. Right there. He let him get to his off force position to eventually get into the guillotine. Look, look, look at his legs. Yeah, he's in tight. Look, he's even using the cage. Did you guys notice that? He's trapping him here because there's nothing he can do. He's using it to eventually get the submission. I mean, there's a lot of setups that this dude is doing. I don't think people are recognizing it, especially for me like now, like I'm watching what Rachmanov is doing. Very, very impressive. And now I would like to take it to the three T's, the techniques, the tactics, and the threshold. Let's go. So the techniques, the tactics, and the threshold. Guys, I typically like to start in a certain area where I feel like it's either their greatest gift or their worst enemy. But for Rachmanov, I'm going to go here. And he's a unique, he's a unique case because his threshold is not just his conditioning, but his threshold to be able to take punches. <laughs> and that's what makes this dude dangerous. He's almost like a zombie with, with crazy technique that doesn't give a that doesn't give a shit if you hit him or not. So for the threshold, I do believe this is his greatest gift. Man, he's been able to finish people, and I, I forget what what is his finish. What, what's his finishing rate, Michael? A hundred percent finishing rate, and he's able to go to these like I'm going to three rounds, man. I gotta give this dude a ten. He just got to. This is what makes Rachmanov Rachmanov extremely dangerous. His threshold, his conditioning, his ability to be able to take it, and I hate. I personally don't like it. But if you have the ability to take a hit, and there's Mexicans like that, Mexican boxers, Jesus, dude. Like, it's just a certain gift, man. I feel like this dude, he might, he might want to get his, you know, go, go to 23 and me and get his blood checks. He might be Mexican, because this bro could take a damn hit. Um, the next one that I would like to go over is his technique. His technique, even though he does have a 100% finishing rate, which he just beat uh, Hands of Steel, which I believe he was number seven. You know, that's gonna, that's gonna put him, that's gonna put him, he's either gonna take that spot or they may just drop him down because he's been finishing people, maybe to number six. But that being said, his technique is something that he really needs to focus on, his defense. Because you imagine he doesn't take a hit and he just has that gas tank. This right here is his biggest flaw right here out of all of them. Out of all the techniques, the tactics, and the threshold, this right here is his biggest downfall. It's his defense, his ability of just getting hit and not moving off to the side or, or being in the pocket, going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, getting stumbled. But he always comes back and you go on and think this, the threshold, his chin, how long will that last? There's a lot of technical help that he does need help on, whether it's him catching his angles to be able to hit, getting his head offline, or him just having a better technical game defensively. So for that reason, man, Rockmanov, I'm gonna, probably gonna have, because you have a finishing rate, and I'm gonna be generous, I'm gonna give you a seven. Can't give you an eight, can't give you a nine, can't give you, a, definitely can't give you a 10. But your technique, there's true, you, you got three points, man, to get better. So this isn't a trash on you. No, this is an ability where you could actually bring that shit up to a 10. Tactics. Tactics is, uh, he's, uh, <laughs> he's, he, what he does, what, what I, where, where I am impressed with, uh, with Rachmanov is his tactical game. He will attack the body, attack the body to eventually go up and throw that spinning kick to be able to, you know, take somebody out. Or 
he'll close distance on you and he'll just keep you there. That's a tactical game. Like he knows when he's in the pocket. He knows it's in the third round and this is when he's starting to kind of let off. He won't let you off the hook. His tactics, um, his tactics just because of the way that he fights. I mean, uh, it, it's, it can get a bit confusing with the techniques and the tactics, but the, the tactics, how is it that you break your opponent down? And he's been able to do a good job of doing that because he does have a 100% rate. Guys, so again, this is a 10 here. So for his tactics, because he does have a, 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 a because he does have a finishing rate, man. It's, uh, I would love to see him go up against guys like a Kobe Covington, get up to, get to that 5%, a Gilbert Burns, a Hamza Chiman. But is he ready for those guys? Yeah, he may have a 100% finishing rate, but when it comes to the grappling portion, He's been, he's had the ability to take people down. Now, my biggest question is, is how is he on bottom? Can he tactically fight everybody different? To me, that is yet to be known. Even though he has a finishing rate, I cannot give him a 10, but I will give him an eight. These are high scores, man. These are high scores. You guys know that I'm super, super critical with that stuff. But the reason why he gets that, or he gets that, is because of his finishing rate. I would love to see him go up against, you know, those guys, the, the top five, and see where is it that his wrestling kind of take part, or how good his defense is, or can he get off a of bottom off of a Kobe Covington? Is he, can, can he go toe to toe with a guy like Bilal Muhammad? Those are questions to be asked. Yeah, 25, so Rachmanov gets 25 out of 30. Maybe a B minus. But again, guys, the way I score this is like there's rooms of, rooms of improvement to work here. You're good here, bro. You're good with the conditioning. Your conditioning second to none. You have a gift a lot of people don't have, and that's a damn chin and a big head. That's a mix, two of us. Anyhow, the tactics, because of your finishing rate, I would like to see with the top with the top five. I can't get, give you a 10. Uh, your technique, I, th I think his technique is his biggest hole right here defensively or is it that you could get better here imagine how much better if he doesn't take those hits how much better of an athlete this man could actually become so again the future is bright for the kazakhstanian nightmare i hope you guys enjoy five feedback i'm your host henry cejudo aka triple c and you guys make sure to go to liftedtrucks.com and get your custom truck guys I'm lifted trucks. I have a truck right now in my park where I love being tall in my truck where I can overlook everybody since I, since when I walk, people are over, you know, see, they can see the top of my head. But when I drive, I'm the king of the damn jungle. Anyhow, you guys make sure to go to liftedtrucks.com. Hope you guys enjoyed fight feedback. I'm your host, Henry Cejudo, AKA Triple C, and we, do, we will deliver. And we are out. So thank you guys again for watching. It means a lot to me. So you guys remember there's more breakdowns, there's more technique, there's more tactics, and there's definitely more cringe. So make sure to subscribe and click on that button. I'm out!